The VLK optic pretty much dominated Warzone 1, but nobody seems to use it for Warzone 2, and I honestly don't know why. In today's gameplay, I dropped one of my best solo versus squad videos with the VLK sight. And while I was using this, I just noticed how much easier it was for me to hit shots with this. You guys let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments, and does anybody actually use the VLK currently? I like doing that window play right there. People never expect that because, you know, like who would actually expect somebody to jump through that window? Catch them off guard every time. Enemy dropping into the AO. Is this guy going around? Pistol though, what are you doing? We got up top. Cracked armor. Dead. Is this boy coming? Thank you guys for the five kills. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna see if I can hit this bot back here because, yeah, let's go. Alright. No, 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 no. Get out of here. He's seen me for sure. That's cool though. So where was he at on the hill? Oh, he's running down. It's right here. This is probably a bad idea. I'm on top of a team. This site is actually decent. I'm surprised more people don't use this. All right, so there's one under me. What we can do now is jump down here, get rid of him, and then we can get these holds. Or not. Where's the team that was rotating in? I need that thirst. I need that. Wow, no kill. I had to go it. I had to. That killed him? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Now he All right, so the other guy's in that building. That's fine. We can go back here and get some loot. And he hit one of my bombs. All right, let's go. He died to the other one. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. Oh, I'm not complaining. But I don't know. So far, bro, I'm really liking this VLK site. I keep saying it, but I'm surprised more people don't use it, honestly. I think pretty much what started the whole VLK uh, hate and like the aim up, um, whatever you want to call it, like the campaign for it, was because of like all the bigger streamers saying that this one gives you like less recoil. It's like, I mean, if enough streamers start to use it and say it's, you know, legit, then it's set in stone. But yeah, one thing I don't understand is why you get like a sniper glint with this. Because it's not like people actually use this for their snipers. Like, it's not really practical. I mean, for some people it is, especially on keyboard and mouse. For some people, not everybody, but a good amount. I like how much easier it is to see people. I get, oh, they still gave me that. Yeah, see, I like using this one because it's so much easier to see people. And I say that all the time, like, using the aim op is so hard. I noticed something. Whenever I'm playing solo squads, I do heard footsteps. I find it a lot easier to get kills and like just to drop like 20 kill gains by keeping your distance and picking people off one by one. And these guys are all underground, so I might not even. I don't think I'm gonna mess with these boys. Wow. I'm 
in a bit of a situation here. I feel like that guy had no footstep audio. Like I knew the play he was making because I heard him running that direction the whole time, but I don't know. Just on the off chance that he was actually making that play, I wanted to sit next to that window. But I think he might have popped Deddy. You're not gonna get call outs, girl. You gotta move. Glass broke. Is he jumping up right here? Yes, he is. You evaded the enemy trackers. Good work. Come on. This team out here, they were trying a little too hard for me. I don't like it. It's just this spot right here. There's too many angles for people to just walk up on me from. Somebody's in the heli. Actually, you know what? Let's try to get this kill. This can burn some time and we'll get, be able to get 20. So he's getting shot from where? What building would they be on? On the mountain, probably. I see, I see that laser. Wait, hold on, what's going on back here still? Somebody is on these rocks right here. Somebody's throwing stuns? I seen him, I seen him. Alright. We gotta take this weird flank. I'm really hoping this guy behind me is dead. So I don't have to worry about him. Oh, there's somebody up here. Ah, uh, bro, don't make too much noise, because now I... <laughs> now you're messing me up. Oh, kind of getting closer. I'm not even going to shoot him. All right, let's go up now. I almost died. Come on. I don't go out like this. Alright, that's one less guy I gotta worry about rotating. I'm not gonna lie, I like this VLK. Sweaty, sweaty. Come on, bro. Don't do this. Ah, uh, where's the last guy? Is he making a flank on me? No, he's not. No, I didn't think that was going to hit. All right, we just gotta go out swinging. You're, oh, no way. Chat, I don't know, drop a like. Drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. <laughs> I don't know, bro, I don't know. And before you guys get to saying, oh, VPN, bot lobby, whatever, I don't even wanna hear it. Just appreciate what you guys just saw there. 
But what do you guys think about the VLK? I kind of, I'm feeling it after that game, especially after that. But let's get into the class setup really quick. So for the VLK, I actually tune this for far because, you know, you already get the four times magnification. So you just want to keep it as far away from like your uh, view as, as possible because it reduces that visual recoil. And then we also did the flinch resistance for that one. And then for the underbear, I used the commando. For the muzzle, I use this one right here. And I just pair these two together instead of the other two because you ADS a little bit quicker. The only thing you're really losing out by using these two attachments instead of the other two, like the Harbinger and the F-Tac, is you're not gaining as much recoil control, just a little bit. If you guys want the build to my secondary, click on this video right here.